In this video, I'll be going through the various settings needed to get the best footage out of Filmic Pro. As a video recording app, Filmic Pro offers all of the settings that you will need to record vi great video with your smartphone. It allows you to really dial in settings such as ISO, shutter speed, it offers higher bit rates to get the best quality video and it even has a log gamma color profile that allows you to get a little bit extra dynamic range in your video. Jumping right into the interface, you'll see there's on the right hand side, there is a audio bar that indicates the level of audio currently being picked up by your smartphone's microphone. You'll also see that there's the record button, play button, a settings button, and in the middle here, you'll find the time cone medallion. Here you'll see there's icons indicating your current battery level. There's a time code that indicates the duration of your recording. And on the left hand side, you'll see it also displays the current frame rate and resolution set for the video. The A button allows you to access live analytics such as zebra stripes and focus peaking. The circular button gives you finer controls over ISO and shutter speed as well as zoom and focus. The button indicated with the three color circles gives you access to the imaging panel where you can set things like the color temperature and the tone of the, the video. Currently as you can see the temperature for this video is set to 3833 Kelvin. So looking at the settings that you might want to adjust when recording, let's tap on the settings button and at the top you'll see the resolution settings. Here you'll see the top bar indicates the available aspect ratios such as 16 by 9 and one by one basically which is great for social media you can also set the resolution of the video currently set at default to 1080p but you can go if your phone supports it all the way up to 4k and all the way down to 540p you can also adjust the bit rate for the video which affects the quality of the video that you will be recording uh, currently this is set to filmic extreme but you can select from filmic quality standard and economy economy will give you the smallest file size where filmic extreme will give you the largest file size because it simply packs more data into the file you can also select the codec for the video, currently set to AVC, but you can also do HEVC, or High Efficient Video Codec. I'll just leave it at AVC for now, and then you can tap outside of the box to go back. Then we'll go into frame rate. The top panel allows you to select frame rates currently available for the resolution that was set in the resolution settings. For 1080p, what is available on my Note 8 is 24 frames a second, 25 frames a second, and 30 frames a second. These settings can be selected either here at the top or from the settings here at the bottom. It allows you to set it a lot more finer as you can see. So let's step outside again. So now we can jump over to the audio settings and here we can set which microphone the camera uses to record audio. Currently there is no external mic plugged into this phone so the only option available is the camera microphone. You can also set the quality of the audio being recorded. 
I just leave that at 48 kilohertz and you can also select whether or not to just record video without audio so let's go back another setting that you might want to tweak is where the video files will be saved on your device and that can be done by tapping the CMS button currently mine is set to external storage but you can select the files to be saved in the internal storage of the phone as well you can also enable content management which allows you to name the files specific to the project that you are busy with so let's step outside over here you can enable stabilization which uses the built-in OIS of your phone which is optical image stabilization uh, let me just disable that because I'm using a tripod and I don't need stabilization and this button over here allows you to switch between the front camera and the back camera and that's more or less all of the settings that you will need to look at before starting filming with Filmic Pro in the settings panel so let's step outside here now over here in the main screen you'll see that you'll have this little square and the little circle the square is the focus reticle and you can move this around to allow the camera to focus on whichever part of the scene you move it over the circle is this exposure reticle and the, you can move this to various parts of the scene and the camera will adjust exposure for that specific area you can also tap on these which turns them red which means that they are locked and that just means that the settings won't change whenever the camera is moving or anything drastically happens in the the scene such as clouds coming over or somebody moves in the scene you can tap them again to unlock them and double tapping them will set both to center weighted exposure and focusing meaning that the entire scene will be used to calculate either exposure or focusing and the result is kind of a middle ground between whatever happens in the scene you can also just have one of them to center weight it or both of them and tapping them if you are satisfied you can also lock them however if you require more control over exposure and focus you can just tap the manual control button which then gives you the, these two sliders and basically if you go to the left hand side this will give you control over exposure and if you slide it down it'll get darker and if you slide it up it will get lighter this has control over both ISO at the top and shutter speed at the bottom you can also get even more control over each of these two settings by tapping one of them which essentially locks them down and the one in white will be the one that you can adjust so now I'm just adjusting ISO tapping the ISO at the top allows you to just adjust shutter speed I usually set my shutter speed to double the frame rate which is in videography the known as the 180 degree rule then on the right hand side you'll see you can slide this the slider which will adjust focus however it also gives you control over zoom and tapping on zoom will give you manual zoom and here you can slide that in and out I usually don't use zoom in video as this is just digital zoom and you lose quality the more you zoom in you can then tap out of it 
to get go back to the main screen and tapping on the colored buttons gives you the imaging panel where you can set your white balance right now it's set to auto white balance but you can also access various presets such as tungsten cloudy incandescent or sunlight you can also save presets by tapping and holding a or b and saving the current settings as a preset i generally just use auto white balance as the camera is usually very good at detecting what white balance is required for the scene and tapping it again turns it to red which means that the white balance is locked and it won't change tapping it again will turn it to orange which means that the white balance will only be locked at recording this means that when you're not recording it will adjust white balance to whatever scene and then as soon as you press the record button it will lock those settings the imaging panel also gives you access to profiles such as natural dynamic flat and lock this is usually an extra purchase it also allows you to set the tone of the video and adjust settings such as saturation and vibrance let me just move that one back okay tapping outside will take you back to the main screen from here you can simply press the record button and you'll see that the time code medallion will start start counting and from there you are recording your video whenever you're ready you can stop the recording and you can then view your recorded video clip by pressing the play button and this will then be your recorded clip you can play this from there and that is basically all of the settings that you will require to record great video with filmic pro on your smartphone i hope you found this video useful please click like and share and subscribe to all of those things i'm yawin this is the 100 and and enjoy it.